well here we are again eh? up on the uh, lovely river trying to get a bit of gold so I was come up here by myself today just sick of sitting around the house um, a couple of mates uh, Blake's gone up to to Benny's lease and he's gonna be up there for a couple of days and I couldn't go and the other mate I go I do a bit of prospecting with Bruce he's um, doing something else picking up a dog and what else uh, anyway so I decided bugger it I'll get up in myself and see if I can do a little I'm not going to go anywhere where it's unsafe I'm just going to stick to the main road on the river different spots on the river anyway I'll see what I can come up with um, I'm at this spot here where I was the other day and I'm going to have a go uh, cleaning this out here and I'm not sure you can see where it comes up over the rock here and there's a bit of packed rock in here I'm not sure whether it'll be any good but we'll give it a go a bit of water here so it might flow in there and I'll be able to um, sluice off the bottom a bit of luck well I'll give it a go this is my project for the day and we'll see how it goes if you think I'm digging in the wrong spot you can see where she's she comes through here and round through there and out the bottom there so a bit of luck we might have a couple of specks caught up in this mess here if you think I'm in the wrong spot by all means tell me so because some of you blokes out there have got a lot more knowledge than what I have all right get back to you as always when you're walking around you see something that's better than what you were going to do so i found this hole here I had a massive big rock jammed in there which has slid down in the river there it took me ages to get it out anyway i've took all the overburden off all the loose stuff i'm going to give it a bend but you can see all this hard pack stuff in the bottom here hopefully that might contain something anyway i um I couldn't let it go by. I seen this big rock jammed in there and everything was so packed in behind. It's taken me nearly half an hour to get it, get the um, top rocks off. But anyway, we'll give it a go. We'll pan that off first. I don't expect to get anything in that because that's just the loose stuff on top of the hole and around the main rock. But now I've got underneath that might be a bit of something in that boil hole. Although I'm not a boil hole man. I just, you know, sometimes I'll give them a go. But I'm, don't really um, get anything out of boil holes. We've got a couple of specks in there, but you probably won't see them. They're very small. But a good sign. I've got a pellet, shotgun pellet. And there's a lot of fine stuff in amongst the bit of black sand that's in there. So I'll bundle it all up and take it home. And uh, yeah, look forward to getting to the bottom of this hole. Like three little specks in there on the top stuff, so mud might be a little bit down in the bottom. We'll give it another try. Good spot here, though. The water, a bit of water flowing, and a good seat.
nothing in there that you'd see in the camera a lot of fine a bit of black sand and a lot of fine stuff so i won't worry about showing you because you won't see it anyway all right we finally got to the bottom of that boil hole you see a couple of cracks down here i cleaned out sucked it all out so this is my last chance to get something out of it i've only got some really fine stuff before which is typical for boil holes i don't know why i even bloody try them for but i've seen some blokes get some good stuff out of boil holes but all right we'll give this last pan a go and see what we get eh? something I think a nice speck I think
couple of specs. Nothing fantastic. Hope you can see them there. There's one, two, three, four, five specs. One a little bit bigger than the rest, but anyway, that's sitting on the bottom of that hole. So you might be something else in some of these other holes. So all right, we'll get back to you later. That's where I was over there, but that is really the outside bend. I was only getting a bit of small specks. And anyway, I decided to come over here. You probably have annoying with the wind here though, but over here you can see a channel coming through there and uh, a couple of cracks going across the channel. So I thought I'll try and move a couple of these out of here and that one there does move a little bit so I'm just going to clean out there behind it and lift it out and have a bit of a scratch and then do a test pan in there and if it is then I'll probably get a bit serious and you know, there's a few few um, crevices going across here a couple more down there all the way through there there's crevices so look at them you know I might be able to get something here be in the uh, inside bend channel through there low pressure zone you can tell by the rocks dropping off here coming around that corner there and it's pretty tight and then it gets to here and spreads out so you never know we might pull something out of this crevice if I can get these rocks out of here but I'll get back to you and let you know when I do well that big rock in there you think it would just slip up out of there wouldn't you but no it won't I've got it up a bit but it won't come any further so can't get down deep enough, I've only got a bit of topsoil there off it, so there'll be nothing in that probably. Uh, needs a, it needs a, a little bit of um, woomer to shift it, but I ain't got no woomer. Alright, going to have a look for another spot. Somewhere down here, before it gets too hot. Well that's the inside bend here. Right, so it's coming through here. This is sitting here and it's got a lot of big boulders behind it. A lot of lights from when the water was dropping off. So I might have a bit of a go down behind here. There's bedrock there, so whether there's a crevice or not down there we don't know. But have a bit of a dig. Do this here and I might sort of chuff off a bit. It's getting a bit hot out here on top of this rock now. Alright, we'll just have a bit of a dig and see what we come up with once we shift the top off. A little test pan out of that little scratch in there produced not one speck all right so yeah it's a bit hot out in here i might head off the wind's coming up so probably no good for recording and it's getting a bit hot all right old fella like me needs to get some shade and some water into me all right catch us later well 2 30 in the afternoon and bloody hot those would be pushing up around 30, 33 degrees Celsius here. Bit of a breeze coming up now, but oh man, it was hot out on those rocks. Too hot for this black duck, I tell ya. Anyway, I got a couple of specks in the boil holes. And then went over the other side on the inside bend to picking up a couple of crevices, but oh gee, they were hard yakka. Never got nothing couldn't get deep enough so come back to the car had a nice cold drink and that might be it for today I might go for a drive up and have a bit of detect around the old village just to fill the afternoon in 